Hi everyone, this is Rebecca and I'm going to show you how to change background color in Photoshop. Primarily what we're going to be doing is uh, making this background white. Okay, so come over here and select the quick selection tool and um, start selecting your image that you want to cut out. Uh, we're not going to select the whole baby here because if you do, see, it'll start doing this where it selects more of the picture than you want. So we're just going to come up here and select, deselect. So we're just going to select a small part of the baby. That looks about right. Now let's zoom in. make sure that these edges are right. Um, let's see, I want to add a little bit more to this edge, so I'm going to press shift and I'm just going to clean up the edge, make sure I've got all of the baby. And the edges over here look good. So let's zoom out a little bit. Then I'm going to select the eraser tool and I don't want to erase the baby so I'm going to go select inverse and we will start erasing our background. This method is really good whenever you have a busy background because a lot of times the quick selection tool doesn't know what to select as far as your background so this is a good way to do this when you have a busy background or a non-busy one like this so I think we've erased most of this I'm gonna finish erasing some of the background alright now you're just going to select deselect that way it deselects anything we're going to come back up here and grab our quick selection tool again and we're just going to select more of the baby and it's going to start getting tricky up here by the hair so um, keep watching so we, you'll know what to do with that let's zoom in and I'm going to press shift actually this time I'm going to press alt because I want to take away some of this there we go make it closer to the ear now I'm going to press shift because I'd like to have a little bit more of the ear here and the better you get with getting a, um, a good edge the better your image is going to look more professional All right, I think that looks good. Let's erase it. Actually, we want to select inverse and we'll erase this part. Okay, so we're starting to get up here close to the hairline. I'm going to go ahead and select deselect um, and this is what I do for the hairline so that you get a really good image and you want to keep those hairs to make it more detailed and more professional looking so what I do is I zoom in and I start doing some erasing by hand and what you'll do is you'll just um, you make your your brush, your eraser brush, smaller or larger depending on how much you want to take away. And you can continue to zoom in and zoom out to make sure that it's starting to look good. Let's see, I'll do a little piece of this here and then I'll zoom out and show you what it looks like.
see we got some of that hair there let's zoom in here and do some of this hair So you'll just want to keep adjusting your brush size that way you can get as detailed as possible you will zoom out there you go and let me finish doing some of this that way the video is not but so long and here's what the finished product looks like um, you have your white background here and your darker background here and if you wanted to change it to a different color that's easy you can just change your paint color here um, but your eraser tool is always going to be white so you would use a the brush tool instead of the eraser tool whenever you were doing all this outlining so that way you could change it to whatever color you just click here and you can change whatever color you would like so you go down here to your paint tool you select your color you select your paintbrush instead of your eraser and you start painting on your color I went to school for four years for graphic design and art. Most people don't have that much time or money to dedicate to learning Photoshop. I've come across this tutorial and it's only $27. It's very affordable and it's going to teach you some in-depth training that you really want to learn and you're going to be able to wow people with the stuff that you learn in here. Um, let's go through a couple of them. I really like this one. It teaches you how uh, to do the lighting effect and smoke effect. It will also give you, uh, see this is the before image and the after image. It also gives you files and it goes through um, all different kinds of video tutorials. See video part two, three, four. Oh, let's go through one more. This one's really cool. This is the before and the after photo, and they give you all the uh, anything that you need, a plug-in or a, a image or a graphic, whatever you need, they give it to you. And let's check out one more of these. Let's see, there was one with a little girl that I really liked, this one. If you're into photography, you can take really good photography, but you want to turn it into more of a fairy tale look or a dream look. Uh, this is a great tutorial to go through. But uh, this is some great training. It's very affordable. I, I think I said it was something like $27. Um, just click on the link that's uh, in the video or the link down in my description, and it'll take you right to the page, and it, there'll be more information on it, um, and you can check it out. So go ahead and click on that link.